Okay, hey, it's Mike with Drumline, and I am with, uh, let's see, it says uh, Mike Portnoy. No, it does not. Oh. That is the man on my chest. And the man on your chest. My hero. I'm sure it is. Uh, he is? No surprise. Not only is he on my chest, if I may lean okay. on you, I've got Tommy and, and uh, the, the mod symbol and Keith's snare drum on my leg as well. And above that, I and saw above a Zeppelin that, ring. Yeah. Bonzo and Keith Moon are my two heroes. And of course. And you're many, uh, many drummers' hero. But well, I'm sorry about that. Yeah. You uh, terrorized a lot of parents. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, you became a parent who made a terrorizing uh, Mac. That's right. So uh, you're passing on to the next generation. Absolutely. That's what, your son. That's what drumming is about. Passing it on and uh, the evolution of the bar keep rising and the evolution of drumming and that's what it's all about. I saw you play with uh, Dream Theater many, many years ago. Here's a Mind Freak. You want a Mind Freak? Sure. I worked with Robert Terry and Dan Muro, Scott. Uh -huh. Robert Terry stuff and his eyes were on your bass drum. Dan wow. Yeah, yeah. And the Awake album. Yeah. His, his body, his form was on the original That was album. 20 years ago. 20 years ago. Mind Freak. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway. Um, and a whole other lifetime ago. Yeah, exactly. But I know my dog's favorite band right now is... Your dog's favorite band? Yes. My dog's favorite band, too. The Winery Dog. Now, you used to have a giant kit, and you still could play a giant kit. Uh -huh. But there was a time when you took a Zeppelin side kit and played the groove side kit. And I guess, is some of your playing now kind of started then when you started thinking in a smaller kit on some songs? Like for Winery Dogs? Well, you know? here's the thing. I spent 25 years doing Dream Theater with the massive, massive sure. kit. You don't want to eat hamburgers every day for the rest of your life. No. Sometimes you want to have pizza. Sometimes you want a hot dog. Sometimes you want spaghetti. Uh -huh. well, you know, after doing the giant kit for 25 years, you, you need some, I need some uh, change of scenery. Right. So it's nice now with uh, the winery dogs, I get to play a smaller jump on them type kit. Some of my other prog bands, I have more of a medium sized kit. Uh, I still have a, a big kit for other things that I do, but you know, variety is, the spice of life, and that's how you grow. So that's important to me. Do you feel more creative sometimes on a small kit because you've got you got to come up with more, no, you know, interesting I, things? Or I, I treat them all equally you important. Your children, no matter what. Well, I'm I'm as inspired on a small kit as I am on a big kit, on a medium kit. I, I you know, give me anything, and I, it's, it's you know what I hate to say this, but it's not really the kit that inspires me sure, as much sure. as it is the people I work with. Yeah. That's so that's whoever I'm playing with and making music with. I will utilize the kit to the best of the, uh, you know, what's what's right for the song. That's what it's always about. You're mooning out tonight. Well, moon's a whole other animal. Moon yeah. is like three toms that are all the same, yeah, three weird. crashes, no hi-hat. I mean, yeah, I did a Who tribute 10 years ago with Billy Sheen and Paul Gilbert, who are both playing with me tonight as well, and I had that, that moon kit, and it's such a, a weird, unorthodox setup, but it's it's a blast to play. You know, but now you know you know why Keith would just be playing and playing and you know it's because that's the way the kit is built. It makes you play that way. Right. So. Yeah. Well, my profile picture I think on Facebook is uh, you, Simon Phillips, Kenny Aronoff, and me, the non Mount Rushmore, all because the, all the time I, I don't believe I belong in the Mount Rushmore drumming of that picture. Ah. But oh, that's cool. Though. I did get it. That's cool. And uh, I snuck it behind there. So that's cool, man.